put food and drink in Tupperware, but since when did we start putting catwalk models in storage containers? Well, local design label Nicholas has first claim to this, dressing up its models in colourful Tupperware pieces. Pretty wacky fashion fun. Tupperware, it doesn't, it just can't quite sink in. La. So, how did you come up with the idea in the first place? Uh, it is very challenging because we have never worked with uh, so called foreign material like Tupperware and plastics itself. So, instead of using like needles and threads, we actually have to use drills and saws and, and cable ties and things like that to actually form a certain silhouette that's close to um, a garment itself. So, I think the challenge is about how. Can we make it seem that it is like oh it's not a Tupperware but it is at the same time? Yeah. Also for the for the designs of uh, all the all the clothes I don't even know quite know what to call them the clothes uh, do you call them the clothes? Call it outfits. Yeah. Yeah. Out, outfits yeah outfits outfits is safe so yeah. your outfits uh, what 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 kind of inspirations did you have to get you know where do you look for inspiration because where do you begin? Um, we begin by cutting out this um, Tupperware up using saws using drills and we see what kind of shapes that uh, we can actually form with this. Next up on the runway is the aptly named square dress. The design is based on the concept of symmetry in use of the squares and showcases company in colors and shape. process of making this show work out, what were the major challenges that you had to meet in uh, making that become, become reality? Um, the challenges we met were about, first of all, it's fitting because it's all plastics and we don't know like the model size, will they be able to wear it, is it comfortable? Because uh, uh, that's what we always think about when we are making the garment itself. So um, making it realise is after a couple of fittings here and there, where we start to make adjustments, we find it viable. And the clients and, and of course uh, people liked it so um, from there we started to realize all these uh, designs and products. Creation, making a debut here is the blue and green handle neck piece representing growth exuding a perception of a glowing radiance. not for like everyday wear, right? Not. It's not, not even uh, marketed as like, I don't know, a rainproof sort of... Rainproof, no. Not at all. It's, it's actually rather uncomfortable as some of the uh, models have worn it, like all the sharp edges and things like that. Of course, we do take note of those things and make sure that the, the models actually walk on the uh, stage properly without any cuts and bruises. Simplicity and complexity, flexibility and rigidness. The show's not over yet. Next, these models tell us how it feels to walk around in plastic.